Hi, Mike and Mark with Ocean ATM. We appreciate you taking the time to check out the video series. Today we'd like to go over the training that we do at an installation as a review for our customers to help answer some questions you might be having. On most of Hyosung's retail machines, example the 1800, the 2700, and the Halo, you use a hot key sequence to access the operator functions. Enter, clear, cancel, one, two, three, will pop up your password screen. You enter your password and it gets you to the operations program. In the operator program, the main button we're going to use is the settlement feature. This has everything to do with your replenishment of the ATM all in the same menu. The add cash button is in the same position. That's the, the main button you'll use here as well. That allows you to tell the machine how much money is in it. You hit first cassette. It brings up a box that you can edit by putting in the number of bills you're adding. Hit the OK button and the apply button and you'll get a receipt for every cash load. The day total feature is a bank level feature for the ATM. It tells the network that you're moving your business from one banking day to the next banking day. It's not necessary to do a day total as the ATM network that we're running on already totals every day and moves to the next banking day at 3 o'clock Eastern Time. A trial day total does exactly the same thing but it doesn't execute the day total. It gives you the information that would be included on your day total without moving your business to the next banking day. So it doesn't push off any deposits that would be coming from the ATM. The day total will push your deposits to the next banking day. Each time you do a day total or trial day total, you will get a receipt that shows the number of transactions that are taking place from the last or previous day total. It shows your withdrawals and your balance inquiries, the amount of cash, surcharge. The other features that are included on the um, settlement screen is the cassette total. Think of it as sort of an inventory for your ATM. It allows you to tell the machine to start over. When you do that, you get a receipt that shows how many bills were loaded, how many bills have been dispensed, how many bills are remaining, and anything that may have been jammed or rejected is counted as well. When you do a cassette total, the ATM balance goes to zero bills. So you have to go back into the ad cache and tell the machine how much money is currently in it. By pressing first cassette, typing in the number of bills and hitting OK and apply. When you do that, you'll get a receipt that shows the current number of bills. The trial cassette total feature is basically a balance. The same thing as the cassette total where it gives you an inventory the trial cassette total will give you the same information without clearing your cassette balance. It's more of an inventory or a balance, the current balance of the ATM. You'll see it does give you a receipt. The difference is on the top it says trial cassette total. Again, it has exactly the same information, but you'll notice when you go back to the ad cash screen, there is a count of bills. We didn't empty the bill count. Those are the functions of the settlement screen, the main screens you'll use at the ATM for replenishment.